you see is one of the most experienced PCs in practice at the criminal bar. His reputation, mainly as a defender, has been forged on defending in some of the most no notorious cases. He's appeared in more than 80 murder trials and has wide experience in drug trafficking, smuggling, rape, child abuse and large-scale commercial frauds. But also, as a Member of Parliament for 23 years, as a Conservative MP, Sir Ivan was heavily involved in improvements to criminal justice and he has that regularly as a recorder. So representing the Conservative Party and showing that, uh, that Grayling is not uh, representative, I ask you to extend a welcome to Sir Ivan Lawrence QC. I have been a Conservative for 60 years of my life. As you've heard, for 23 of them, I was a Conservative Member of Parliament. And I've come along this morning to say that I am ashamed of this government. I have also, as you've heard, been a barrister for 52 years. Never has there been a demonstration like this. Never have the, cons have the solicitors and the barristers come together. It's even astonishing that the Liberal Democrats and the Conservatives should have come together. However astonishing all this is, it is because never before have we had a system which has driven us to this end. And it is atrocious that this government has forced us to come and behave as we are behaving this morning. All my life I have been against strikes, against industrial action that hasn't been justified. But this industrial action is justified. And I will... I will tell you why this has happened. It's happened because we, of all the number of professionals and business people in our, in our life, do not strike. So we have been walked over year after year as our incomes have been cut, as the criminal justice system has been threatened, because the government has had nothing to fear about us. Now they fear, they think, that we have not any resolve. We are going to make them frightened of our resolve today, frightened of our determination to stop them destroying the criminal justice system which my party has held so dear, the party of law and order which has built built up the reputation of this great country for its respect for rule of law. And now we must put them in fear that if they do not stop these savage cuts which are destroying the system, they will not be re-elected that's the fear that governments and members of parliament harbour in their minds, the fear of not being re-elected. So let us make common cause not only with our other parties, not only with the solicitors, but with the media in this country, so that the government will be put in fear of the result of our actions. They do not think we have the resolve. Let us show them that they are wrong. We have the resolve. We will protect the criminal justice system from destroying the lives of the weakest people in our society. We are determined to do this. Let's show the government how determined we are.